All right, Kryptonauts, welcome back. 24 January 2022, we are mixed bag here, green and red. Bitcoin holding at 35,000. Ethereum holding at 2,400. Uh, we had some more green earlier, so it's it's up it's, it's up it's down it's up it's down. We'll see where where it goes from here. But anyway, let's uh, talk about our crypto mining GPU prices. Are things going to be dropping? Nvidia announced maybe they're going to raise their MSRPs if they haven't done so already, which is weird. Uh, I don't know why they'd be doing that. But I know why, but. I think now there's going to be a huge amount of used GPUs on the market on eBay, on StockX. Well, they don't sell used ones too much. They use their stock StockX is usually for um, resellers, guys that pick up GPUs from retail bots or at the stores and just flip them for a couple hundred bucks more. Uh, you know, whatever the market bears, right? So uh, let's see what I've done on my Discord. Let's go over to the old Discord and talk pricing trends now even though this uh, crash has been occurring slowly over the month it really hit the last week here the last couple of days and uh, usually the market prices won't reflect downturns for probably at least a couple weeks till the current supply ends out and people realize oh the fair weather folks are gonna go I'm not making any money mining let me just uh, let me just go and sell my cards on eBay or, or Craigslist or, or Facebook Marketplace or whatever. Whatever works for them. So right now, it has not yet impacted the pricing as far as I'm concerned, right? I'm still getting new price alerts on um, from Newegg, Amazon, and prices still seem to be above MSRP and uh, the... Uh, Third-party sellers on Amazon, they're way up there, scalper prices. And Newegg, 6600s, there were a few coming in at low 500s, very low 500s. Now there's there's at least 600, so nothing else nothing else has really been impacted yet. Oh, Bitcoin just dropped a bit as we were talking. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we just flipped over. We are 24 January. Yeah, I just want to make sure what date we're on here. All right, let's go to Discord. This is my little Discord server I set up. Everything's free. Just go in, sign up. Come in, be a cryptonaut, have fun, post stuff, post your pics, post comments. Uh, what I've done, I made a bunch of stuff over here on the left. Obviously, the general chat, the newest videos come down from YouTube. In stock alerts are stuff that I monitor. GPU, CPUs, memory. Uh, I put the price out there as well as the link. Sometimes the price is not the best. Sometimes when I add on the special Amazon ID, the price is like 150 bucks less than what you see listed without the ID. So go check it out anyway. It's worth a click to see if it's something you want. Having said that, would I buy a new GPU right now? No, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna recoup, recoup some of the money I spent, just not spend anything for now. I got CPUs and GPUs, and now it's just time to sit back and keep mining, keep the rigs up and keep learning about new stuff, see what's going on. So this is the in-stock alert. You'll go out here, I'll just show you a couple of them. And like what just came in. We had a Power Cola Red Devil 6600 XT just popped up. And you go click on this, this is an Amazon one. Uh, other stuff that comes in, new egg stuff. There's some memory, Zotac memory. And there's a Ryzen 9 5950 came in for BHP Photo. And new egg is a 1650 overclock. Uh, OC, I mean, sorry. Uh, let's see, in stock, and then a bunch of stuff there. Now let's go to eBay price tracker. So with eBay, if you have an account on eBay or you sell on eBay, you can go to the sell page, and you can run a report, or you can just do a query. Say query uh, RTX 3060 Ti. And then on the left side, select your filter and say, show me all sold. And it'll go through and show you all the current transactions for the for today's date and the previous dates. It's not 100% accurate because eBay is notorious where people will bid on an item 
just to be kind of puds about it and never have any intent of buying it. And I had one guy came out, actually made the account the same day, for some reason, bit high on a GPU, 3060 Ti I had. I said, well, okay. Then I always double check the seller, I mean the buyer, to make sure it's not a scam. It was a scam. The guy was just made the account, had no uh, no history, obviously no feedback, nothing. I just said, no, yeah, I'm not, no, this is, this is a joke, dude. So eBay is kind of, uh, is kind of a uh, crappy in that aspect in that they shouldn't let new members bid until like a gestation period or something. You know what I mean? It just, it just screws up sellers. So I really hate eBay. Plus eBay takes 14% if you're a seller and that eats into your, any profit if you bought the thing. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, you can use eBay to see what the trends are. And so what I do, I run a script and, uh, you can, all right, I run a script because I like to see stuff visually in a charts, but you can also just run the page and eyeball everything. What's sold, what's sold, and that's just as fine too. This kind of gives you a quick warm fuzzy with a data visualization on the price plot points. So what I've done, I run through each item, 3060 Ti, recent price sold tracker. So it's a scattered chart, and this kind of gives you a warm fuzzy what it's been selling at from uh, November, December up to 15th and then up to here. So you can see it kind of went up. Wow, it's interesting. So 800 and then it went up and you got some obvious some outliers. I don't know what those are. Those might be used and or something extra, maybe a combo kit. You never know. But you can kind of get a warm fuzzy what the common price is. It's like right in here about 900 bucks for the purchase price. All right, let's get rid of that one. Here's another related chart. It's the same chart, a kind of clumped up, clump of cells. And then um, in here is the kind of the high and low, gives you an idea. So roughly around 900, right? Let's get rid of that. So then I also put a little table out here for you guys. You can hit expand and it starts at January 21st. So I don't think, I'll have to check why that didn't do that. Oh, that's right, I ran it. I ran it on the 22nd, so it got the previous days. Okay, that's why we're a little day behind here. Let's do an expand. So these are all the solds. 21st, going back in time. It gives an idea, 850, 850. Uh, what do we got? 3060 Ti, 840, 840, 889. So 880, 890, 889. And this will not include the shipping price. This is just the sold price without the shipping. So there's a 925. Uh, let's see if there's any crazy. Wow, there's a crazy person. Oh, they. So here, 3060 Ti for 11.79. That's a little bit. That's a lot of money. I don't know what they want that for. I uh, hope it's gaming. 924. Anyway, it goes back all the way to the first. So that's 3060 Ti. You get an idea of what the price range is there. Again, this is all on the Discord. A uh, link is in the description below. Uh, 3060 I put out here. You get an idea of what the price is. Oh my gosh, look at that. So not many are selling. There's not many out there, obviously. Because everything out there seems to be the TIs, the LHRs. So this has been holding, what do you think, about 900, 1,000. Again, a warm fuzzy to give you an idea of what things are at. Yeah, right there, about 900. Let's see, 700. That looks like seven. Okay, 1,000. Yeah, it's all bubbled up in there. 702, 651, 739, 714. All right, so 700s. You can expand to 3060 and see more. Uh, 3070s, same thing right here. Go through, you get kind of the scatter chart. Yeah, about 1400 to 900 to 1400. So most recently though, uh, the top seller, I mean the most recent sell prices have been 1075, 910, 820, 990, 910. I don't know. It's all over the place. I, I, it makes me wonder what makes people buy a certain one. Like, well, I know this one's FTW3. This one's XC3. So I guess people know exactly what they're looking for and they want to pay that price. So there you go. I wish people would stop. You know, just just wait, man. Do you really need the card that bad to keep paying these prices? If people would stop buying it, the prices would come down. <laughs> all right. 3080s. So here you got the kind of scatter chart. Wow, it's a big range here from like 
Jeez, what do you got? 1400, 1300 up to my god, 2500? Are you joking? All right, let's go. Let's expand. Kablamo. 1400, we see recently on the 23rd. There's an 1899, which is a 3080 Ti. Wow, you spent that much money on it. Why did you get that card when there's other ones also listed? It's I don't know why people spend that. They don't look or they just they just grabbed the first one or it was an auction. Yeah, maybe they just set the high bid in. Like here's a, and the high bid just pays out, right? I don't know. So 3080 Ti for the win three, 1875. That's a lot of money, guys. I want to see those down to uh, what? 900, 1100? <laughs> right. All right, there's that. It's all expanded. And 3090s. So here's you got the kind of the visualization on the 3090 the scatter chart. 2000 up to cheese. Some four. No, that's some of these outliers you got to wonder about. But uh, let's see. Let's get rid of that. So let's say 2000 to 3000. And so as we, oh, geez, look at this. As you look at the data from the 23rd, someone bought a 3090 for the win. 24 gigabyte. 2500 someone brought a 20 uh, 3090 kingpin hybrid for 2900 there so 2500 2900 it's all, it's all the same day folks again did these go through not 100 percent sure uh like i said buyers go out there and they they mess with sellers it's it's just not a good platform ebay so let's go to, we got 2450 and then, oh, then we got a nice decent one 3090 founders edition wow how'd you get that 39 is founded for 1800 okay let's go down a bit here 2750 at the bottom 2800 wow man i just i'm sorry i just can't see spending that yeah i don't know not for me so anyway there's an idea if you want to go check it out you can get a sense for trends you can either check out this channel on the Discord or just go eBay if you are a seller or a buyer, whatever, if you have an account, right? I think you can go into sell, type in 3090, RTX 3090, and say click sold and get an idea of what everyone is that sold and look at the little picture if you want. Uh, that kind of gives you an idea. So it's a good way to spot trends. And uh, with this cooling off period, this correction, Will the price of GPUs uh, start going down on the uh, eBay market and elsewhere? I know some of the middlemen, the buyers, the brokers, are buying from the the guys that get them from Newegg, Best Buy, whatever, or the stores, uh, Best Buy, uh, BHP, whatever. Whoever get these things or through retail bots, the middlemen will buy them from those guys. And like the big one now for GPUs. Is just a huge demand for 3070 Ti for I think four or five of the different brands from Gigabyte to Zotac. And uh, they're asking, they're, they're, I think they're willing to pay about 1050 which I think is a little low based on what you can, I don't know, it depends what you get them for with the retail bots. Because the retail bots will get to the MSRP value, the price because there's special offer IDs you peg on and boom, hey, I got it. And if you're lucky on the bot, you'll get it, you check it out and they'll ship it to you eventually. Uh, that's it. So yeah, give it a couple weeks. Maybe, maybe these prices will start going down. Uh, you just never know. So that's all I got. I just wanted to throw this out there to show you there are metrics. And if you don't want to use this, you can always go to eBay directly in their reporting under sell and uh, look there as well it's the same data i'm just i'm just actually going to their website and getting the data through a script i wrote and uh, presenting it here just for archiving purposes so then you can actually go back previous days and piece that together as well um but here i actually show the whole month to uh, some of this data goes back i think it's, yeah look i go for this card 3060 ti i go all the way back to the first so you can see 890 this card actually has dropped so just by eyeballing that 3060 ti really quick so last one actually sold on the 21st let's go back to the first let's go back 899 so 900 
let's just round up 900, 900. I'm scrolling up. There's a 924, 924. Better, 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 better. Oh, 905. So now we're dripping down a bit here. 999, 905, 850, 890, 900, 860, 830, 890, 890. Now we're getting down here. Oh, this guy, this guy bought these two people bought. They screwed up everything right here. People just buy, man. It's amazing. People have money. They'll just buy it. Boom. They're not going to mess around. Uh, 840. So the last, look, ever since this 890, we got 875, 840, 780. Someone made out really well there. That's ridiculous. I don't know how they got it for that compared to the current price. 870, 50, 850. So just by eyeball, eyeballing this real quick, looks like there's a slight trend downwards by 50 bucks, you can say. So not too bad. Give it another week or two and maybe I'll run another video on this data and just see if it's actually dropped. All right, guys, if you find this information helpful, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be I thought it'd be useful to uh, push this out there just to let you guys know how to just how to look at the trend in the prices, how to do it yourself, and you can get it here too. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh